think I've been in Hayworth Labs since Harry Hayworth gave that big tour a few years ago. Sorry, sir. There has been a slight <laughs> hiccup in the disposition of the lab, and it is currently in isolation. No one in, no one out. Please come back later. Uh, but, but uh, uh, I'm a reporter. I'm supposed to interview Dr. Verloc. Oh, I hope he hasn't forgotten. Oh, a journalist, eh? <laughs> Have you got your press pass? I, uh, left it at the office. Well then, you'd best go back and get it, haven't you? So a press pass gets me in. Amazing what people will do to get in the newspaper. Maybe I can go talk to Mrs. Oliphant at the Oak Corral. See if she's got a spare press pass. My old office. That was fun, being a reporter. The receptionist is out for coffee. Typical. Now am I supposed to get upstairs then? You just then? have to have faith. She'll come back with the coffee. We just have to pray she will. A lady can't go without coffee these days. It's if someone would just have a bloody wedding, then I could get a cup of coffee. All right. You know, I have a sneaking suspicion that they want some size. coffee. Hmm. I bet if I got the coffee machine working, they'd all head off to the kitchen for a nice cup of joe. Let's see if I can get Mrs. Oliphant to give me my old job back and my old press pass. Hastings. The whole place hasn't changed at all, has it? Where did you go? When you disappeared for two weeks? Did you ever remember? I must have had too lovely a time. <laughs> I was hoping you could use a reporter. I'm afraid I've got a half dozen of them. Bloody useless, the lot of them. I've got six pieces on my desk, all about the new flavour of joy. Can you imagine? It's coconut. Didn't Dr. Verloc make that announcement some time ago? Gemma wanted to do a piece on him. I hope she hasn't fallen in a hole somewhere. I haven't seen her in days. It's bloody frustrating, too. There's all sorts of silly rumours about the tunnels under Wellington Wells. Gas leaks, water main breaks, maintenance workers at the pub instead of their posts. That were all true, Wellington Wells would be about to fall apart. I asked her to do a story about it. Oh, well, um, I'm sure she'll turn up and everything will be peachy. I'm sure it will. Lovely to see you, Arthur. Drop by any time, really. Gemma was always digging up interesting stuff, from what I remember. Maybe I should poke around her desk. Probably shouldn't bother her until I've got the goods on Gemma's investigation. Maybe I should drop in on Gemma at home. If she's really vanished, then maybe I can get my old job back.
That's coming from Gemma's house. That's a bit awkward. Just stay and read the meter. I guess someone noticed she's not been around and decided to rob the place. I swear by all that is holy, if I find one toy train in your swag bag, I'm gonna knock your last tooth down your throat! Gordo, turn that fucking thing off and come back down here right now! If the alarm's upstairs, I'm gonna have to get past Mr. Shelter here. Oh! Bloody hell! Who the fuck are you? I live here. Love what you've done with the place. Here she recover in a few days. No, I will not keep my voice down. I am a law-abiding citizen. I am not upset. I'm happy as a clam. You have no right to touch me. I'm a reporter. You have no right to touch me! You know perfectly well I've taken my joy! You can't take me away! I'm not sick! Or unhappy! Help! Police! Help! Someone stop them! Where are they taking her? Why did they take her? She sounds quite sane. Did she know too much? About what? Should we just take everything? I don't think Dr. V would like that. The constabulary might notice. I don't see anything talking about Dr. V here. Where's her study? I thought vampires had to be invited in. Downer! That ought to buy me some time. Open up in there! Of Gemma. Hey, look at that. You've been a busy girl, haven't you, Gemma? She needs our help. I think I've found everything. Doesn't look like she found all the answers yet. If I read it top to bottom, then right to left. The locks looking for a permanent solution. Oh, that's not ominous at all. Solution to what? Well, I guess I'd better go see what's going on on this motilene regulation unit. Maybe the answer's there. Immediately. Central sent me to help out. Oh, and I suppose you learned all about municipal infrastructure back at Central. I like to think I can figure a few things out. Oh, you can figure things out. Who needs 20 years of experience when the new lads can just suss it out with their eyes? Hey, let's all learn from the new lad! Well, this seems fairly obvious. Don't you just turn that? Don't! Never heard it do that before. Oh dear. I, uh, there's a tool I need. I'll just go get it. What did he do to it? 
Has anybody got a pipe wrench? <laughs> Ow. I should really have paid more attention when Dad was banging on the plumbing. I hope they're not dead. On the other hand, it looks like I can get down now. Getting electrocuted. Now make sure there isn't a short circuit of <laughs> fucking apprentices. They never fucking listen. I see, said the blind man as he picked up his hammer and saw. Accidentally poisoned the muffins. Even on joy, people aren't that stupid. Unless there's something wrong with the joy. This is a choice. I've always wanted to drive one of those things. They sort of look like tea kettles, don't they? How have I not noticed that?
adjusting the formula. New materials. Well, that sounds encouraging. And when people sound encouraging in Wellington Wells, something terrible is usually happening. I have a feeling there's not supposed to be quite so many red lights on this board. Uh, if the joy's going bad, that'll drive the entire town crazy. It is becoming rather unhealthy in here. Maybe I'll be safer in the jubilator. the slowest roller coaster I've ever been on. Oh shit! <laughs> 